Hey guys, if you missed the last video on file management, this is a follow-up. And in this video, we're talking about fixing file management issues. If you've got projects already started that you need to organize and get into my sort of system. All right, so here we are in Finder, and this is kind of a, I think it's kind of a typical situation where you've got projects saved along with all this kind of media that is disorganized. Um, so I've got a lot of WAV files here in this Reaper media folder, and I've got a project saved here. Just as an example, I, you know, I never set up projects like this, but if you don't follow the instructions in that file management video, you've probably got something similar to this, but probably a lot more project files, backup files, repeak files, all in the same folder, disorganized. So let's just take this file, double click it to open it, and it does load up with some audio files in here. So seemingly that is no problem, but let's go to the file menu and go to clean current project directory. Reaper sees this project as having a ton of files. If you selected all and deleted, you would actually remove all of these files in here that are not contained within this project file. So you really don't wanna do that. So we need to save this as its own project file in a new location. This is the simplest way to set this up. So we're going to file menu and save project as, and in here, we're going to choose a, a new location. It should be on your project drive or just some other location where you can easily find it, organize it. So maybe you have a, just a dedicated spot on that hard drive. Even if it's still in the documents folder, um, just a folder for projects. So let's just rename this file to file management to demo. And down at the bottom of this window, there are a couple options. So the first really important one here is create subdirectory for project. That just means it's going to make a folder like you see here with these other projects. There's a folder for each one and it's named the same as the project name. And then we're going to copy all media into project directory. Um, you can convert it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. You won't, don't wanna do anything that would change the sound of your project. And then there's move all media into project directory. Usually you don't wanna do that copying is much safer. It duplicates things, but then you actually absolutely know that you have everything you need. So we're going to copy everything to the project directory and hit save. So all these files have been copied, new repeak files have been created. Um, and if I go to my project uh, 2017 drive, find that demo right here. Now I've got all the audio files that were used in the project and my RPP. This project doesn't have a project media folder. So let's go to the project settings. Again, in the file menu, file project settings. On the media page, we're gonna type in audio files. So if you started the project without having this set up already, you would need to type this in and then continue on to going to the view menu, go to project media effects bay. And on the source tab, this shows all the items that are in the project. And if we expand this window, we can see the path for where things are. And uh, this can really be helpful to know which files belong in the project, where are things used in other places, things like that. So we can select them all, right click, go to move slash copy file. And we want to um, move file to project media directory. And all that's going to do here is just put it into that folder called audio files. And it's just gonna take a second. So now it's inside of the audio files folder. If I switch to Finder, this folder looks a lot more organized. And just imagine if you have 60 files, hundreds of files, having everything in, inside of a folder called audio files makes things a lot simpler. Now, if we wanted to do that save as thing a little bit differently, if we just put in the a folder name here in the project settings, media, call it audio files, then do the save as, that would save a step. We wouldn't have to go into the um, project media effects bay and copy those over. Just when we're doing the save as into a new folder, it would do that for us. And now if we look into the clean project directory window, there's no files in here that are unused. 
I also had a question in uh, the comments of the last video about rendering. So when you render a mix, where do you put it? In the render to file window, we're going to set this up. So if you keep this blank, it's going to use the project directory, which means that it will be in here right beside the RPP, as you can see from this path here. But if you just type in um, export, it's going to automatically create a folder uh, inside of here. And we'll just call this mix. Why not? So um, let's just render the, the project. Now we have a folder called export and the first mix. Um, you could also leave this blank and just do a slash. So sl uh, slash mixes. Um, and then call it project, and then uh, mix to render it. And again, it's made a new folder called mixes, and there is our named project. All right, guys, so that should wrap it up for file management. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you missed the previous video, please check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.